Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 28th, 2019. I'm Scott Patton, your host, and joining us is Coach Rob. Coach Rob, what were the stock options like today? Well, Scott, it was pretty good. I'm going to share my screen right here. Usually the first thing we do when we review the day is take a look at the basket, and I'll zoom that out right now. Go all the way to the end of the day, and you just want to get a feel for how the market looked at the very end of the day usually helpful to go five minute candles or, or higher so you can see the the warnings are below average most trades lack follow through that's why i say it's just okay and those warnings are are they, they hold pretty well they're pretty constantly reliable you can see because of the or just look at the shape of the candle patterns and the way this mag line this moving average genius line just kind of goes up and down like a roller coaster so it was a cyclical day, a lot of chop in the middle, especially in the afternoons. But there were a few moves in the morning, especially with all that volume, uh, where we could make some profit. So it would, I think we should take a look, a look at a couple of those. How about that? Sounds good. Right. So let me pull up my main chart. The first one that we want to look at is that name that's been coming up a lot lately, just as a very volatile stock. It's called Tilray. And we don't really, as day traders, we don't need to know a lot about the news. So I don't know all about this company, but they are pretty wild on the market. So I will continue to keep an eye on them because there's certainly profit potential within them. And this is what Tilray looked like throughout the day. And we're going to go back to, let's see, 940-ish, right around this, this move, this big green candle. And we'll zoom in to a smaller candle time frame. So let's see how it looked at that time on one minute candles. You can see it had a previous low and the benchmark and SA all broken with one, one big candle there. And the market is going red at this time. But Tilray is charging up strongly and it's building up a move. And right around, let's say, Somewhere about halfway through that candle is where I would definitely would have gotten in. So let's buy a call and move forward just a little bit. And you can see you've got the pivot approaching right there. Normally you'd be sitting, I would coach my students to keep an eye on that pivot and, and watch it second by second to see these resistance lines like the pivot, the SAs, all the R resistance lines. Those are ones that just tend to stick. Stocks tend to stick on them, price action stops or reverses, um, or sometimes if you play this one out, it charges right through with a giant volume spike. So if we take a look at where we bought the call right here at the top of that uh, impressive candle, after this one, we're at a 20% gain, and that's a good, a good time to get out. You never know if that's going to turn around on you. So if you close that out, you got 20%. Perfect. Nice. Absolutely. And you always like to see what happens after that. Tilray, I really, there is no, there's not a lot of predicting what's going to happen with Tilray. But that volume spike was enough to send it back down towards the pivot and down, down below. So the market followed with a big bear move. So I think we're glad that we got out at that time. Right. Yeah. Take your 20%. <laughs> that's, that's a home run day right there. For sure. Uh, definitely agree with you. And there was another one. One of our, uh, I guess, usual suspects was NVIDIA, who was also kind of a rogue on this day. It was just fighting, it was fighting the bear market with some green moves, as in right now. So let's fast forward a little bit to see where NVIDIA takes us. We'll go to about that 1030 time frame, move forward one minute at a time, and then think yeah let's go right to 10 30 and we'll change it to what three minute candles for 10 30 and you can see nvidia had a nice green morning well a red start and a blue, or a blue start which means some some powerful things happened early and then it kind of got its feet under it and the bulls really took over and they haven't quit since 9 45. so the bulls guided this one all the way up to this support line sd which became resistance and the stock bounced off of it. But if we recognize that we're breaking out and this is the high for the day, uh, this number right here is the closed location value it's called CLV. 
So one, I guess, I guess my coach's tip for this day would be to keep an eye on CLV with whatever ticker you're looking at currently. You want it to be in that top 10 percentile, so from 91 to 100. Or if you're looking at a red move, look from 0 to 10, kind of that bottom percentile. And those are generally, you can tell that's, that's when it's breaking out for the day for sure. And then you can confirm the breakout with longer time scales, like your daily chart, your 60-minute chart where each candle is 60 minutes, and it's a multi-day chart. But in this case, CLV is at 100. So here's a good time. We still got volume consistently throughout the day. That's not something you see all the time. But, but NVIDIA had a really, really voluminous day, I guess, that had some moves in it. So we like that. That uh, makes for, for good trades. And we've got the market support. We just hit the uh, bottom of the 10 o'clock hour. All these indications, indicators are pointing towards buying a call. So we did just that. And we'll move forward one minute at a time. And yeah, NVIDIA is charging up pretty nicely. We're getting a little flutter, a little bit of resistance, but not too bad. And if it keeps going up, which it did, we're, we're really, really profiting nicely uh, on this one. And I think that'll, that'll probably be good enough. 17%. We tested that 140 line, call that good. and exit that trade, bring over the trade summary for the day. We had NVIDIA for 16.5% and Tilray just under 20% at 19.6. We'll need you, Scott. Awesome. So one was a uh, two-minute trade and one was a 12-minute trade. Looking pretty good. Exactly. Uh, you never know how they're going to shape up. You can just go off of their behavior, and that's all you have, have to do. Uh, so watch the candle patterns and just react in real time. Wonderful. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for sharing this, Coach Rob. And uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. This has been the Day Trader uh, Daily Review for January 28th, 2019. And we're just here to show you that software works, coaching works, and you can take a little bit of time out of your day and make a lot better money than you would if you just left your money in the bank. A lot better profits on your money than if you just left your money in the bank doing stock options. And Rob, one question I have about this is, you know, a lot of times people are concerned about risk. For, for, for sure, everybody that talks about getting into the stock market talks about risk or Forex or any of the other types of uh, investment vehicles that you have. So we've had a huge bear market in the housing industry where it's, you know, the prices keep going up, keep going up. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. It's been a bear market for 50 or or a hundred years. I don't think it's ever, you know, it's had like a pause every once in a while, but hardly has ever gone down. Um, in the United States in 2008, they, you would have said probably that the housing market was tremendously risky because I know a fellow who bought a $600,000 house in San Diego and sold it for $330,000 a few years later. Uh, mm -hmm. So he was really not very happy. But so, but my question is, is when you look at this, you've you've been trading for a significant amount of time. You're comfortable with the system. You're comfortable with the process you're comfortable with the software you've been practicing 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 using the replay which is what we're showing this on how do you you know like what is your opinion of risk in stock options using the software and the systems that we teach uh, that great question i teach a lot of my students about risk and how to manage it and we're, first of all let's let's talk about the word the word risk tends to trigger some emotional reactions in, in folks. So there's a lot of fear when you say the term risk. But what I learned from my time in the Marine Corps, risk is really just uncertainty with a catchy name. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, we do a lot of risk management. There's a lot of risky things in uh, military operations, of course. And you don't want to take frivolous risks, but... Uncertainty is it. And in any trade, at Forex, like you mentioned, even housing, which which is always seen as stable, that has uncertainty in it as well. Your friend in San Diego found that out. Yes. 
So <laughs> rather than rather than giving the uncertainty and the risk as much fuel as you can by just guessing and gambling with with options day trading, which is the stigma that it has because a lot of people do treat it like gambling, like it's a coin flip. Like I feel this is going to happen next. How good uh, point. As soon as you realize that you cannot predict what's coming next, you then say, okay, so what's the logical thing to do? It's to go off of what I know right now. And what we knew at the time was that NVIDIA was breaking out on the high side at that CLD of 100. So I just go off the facts that I see in front of me. And that's what kind of rational, deliberate traders will do. Just just go off the facts. Don't If, you're, if you find yourself saying... I feel like this is going to happen or I hope this is going to happen next. You're doing it wrong. It should be relaxed. It should be more thinking. I have a reasonable degree of certainty that this trend will continue. And you have to also have supplement that with a nice exit strategy that's that's ready to click click close position at any time, um, just in case it doesn't go against you because you can't, there's no guarantees in that. Right. Beautiful. Thank you, Rob. Really appreciate you sharing that. Absolutely. So thanks for joining us, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.